welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research, entertainment purposes, and allegedly. All right, you guys. I got a great request today by Ivan. I'm going to call him Ivan the Wonderful. You know who you are, Ivan. Thank you for this suggestion. Um, it is about George Michael, as you saw from the title. George Michael and Fadi Fawaz. I think that's how you pronounce it. F-A-W-A-Z, Fawaz. He dated him from for four years, 2012 to 2016. He's currently selling George Michael's items. He's in a legal battle with George's family over $105 million. He refuses to get a job. He's saying that he's on a revenge mission. He's willing to sell any story, and he's doing it so he can, quote-unquote, survive. He said he is done being respectable, and he's willing. He's now trying to sell his items. So I want to find out there is suspicion that he overdosed, that it wasn't just a simple death. That is the rumor that George Michael died from some cardiac issues or, you know, drug. It was definitely drug-related. So I just want to see if there's any suspicious nature surrounding his death. You know, yes, using hardcore drugs for many years, uh, especially the cocaine. They end up with an enlarged heart. Uh, any use of cocaine starting in high school or above that age, somewhere in there. By the time you reach 40, 45, um, you're going to have cardiac failure. Uh, I do know of several cases like that from my own high school, to be quite frank with you. Uh, where they actually had to go in for heart surgery and then the person ended up going back to using and then they ended up dying anyways so because of sepsis from uh, continued use. So that is a problem when you use hardcore drugs, when you use especially the stimulants, uh, it causes that enlarged heart. So uh, I think he died, I think they said it was cardiac, which is the enlarged heart from, um, you know, from, from stimulants, the cocaine use. So here we go. Let's get some cards on... Fodi, Fawaz, and what was the going on uh, with surrounding George's death? What we have here, first and foremost, is the death card. Wow, that popped up. Crazy. Crazy. I shock myself, I tell you. I shock myself all the time. <laughs> I'm always like, whoa, okay, yes, there's a gift here. <laughs> Sometimes I even doubt myself, to be quite frank, but, you know, it always happens where I'm like, okay, I'm good, I'm good. And this is one of those moments. Yes, this is one of those moments. Here we go. Totally good. So as you can see, that is the death. Yes, death happened, right? So we need to find out what happened around that death. Okay, spirit is being very direct. Here we go. Let's get some more on that, on that death. Here we go. Get some more on that death. Please be clear, spirit guides and angels, please be clear on the death of George Michael. And was it intentional? There we go. One flipped. You see it flipped. I'm going to pull it out. And it goes there. So what is it? It is the six, six of wands in reverse. Six of wands in reverse. And you can see upright, there's the image. So upright, you know, she's celebrating, she's happy, she's putting on a wand, it's a celebration, it looks like confetti in the air, uh, you know, everything's solid, looking with the wood she's holding, she's feeling solid and stable. Uh, the sixes is a harmony card, but it was in reverse. So there was no harmony between them, and there was no victory. He was not feeling like he was winning with him for some reason. So I'm going to put that there. So there was no harmony, so that's concerning, no harmony. And then we have here the two, what is it, the two of, oh, the high priestess. I'm getting to know this deck still, you guys. So it's the high priestess, and the writing is very, very small, and it's in reverse. It landed in reverse. So the high priestess, there she is. And, you know, we've got a little bit of half moon energy going there. She's got, she's lit. The high priestess has secret knowledge. The high priestess keeps secrets. Uh, the high priestess is, you know, all hidden knowledge and trusting your uh, instincts. But it was in reverse. So it's a loss of inner self disconnected so they were disconnected there was there was a problem in the romance and they were not in harmonious state of mind uh, they were not solid so that's not looking good so far I'm gonna keep shuffling here we go I'm gonna shuffle shuffle here 
and we have here the king of the king of wands wow so someone's creating a situation yikes that's not looking good it's um, someone leader leadership taking taking uh, a chance courage uh, actually it's also wanting fame also and it's being an entrepreneur card king of wands but also as we know wand energy is fearless um, and they're hasty they can be very hasty and they can act very fast and they forget details so someone was very took action on something they're kind of they they are soft battle they're like a soft but they're like they go to war basically a lot of wands are, are ready for battle um, so this was a battled situation very unfulfilled in general so now let's clarify let's get the next one well that fell out here we go we have here the the eight of cups the eight of cups so this is someone who's looking for uh, basically Eight of Cups is seeking. This person's seeking a new romance. This woman here is looking for someone else to love. She's looking for someone else to adore. And that is not good for the spread. This is looking like he wanted to move out of the relationship. Next card. Oh, sorry about my dogs. Yes, house full of dogs. Queen of Wands. Once again, we've got another wand energy. We've got king and queen energy here. Uh, starting something new, fire energy, high energy, forgets details, fast, hasty, energetic, fearful, uh, excuse me, cheerful, fearless. Uh, see, typically they bring good news. Typically they bring good news. So this was upright. So this was a created situation, um, but they were not, they were not overcoming a lot of issues that they were having. Um, and he was looking for someone else. I'm feeling he really was looking for someone else here. He wanted a new romance. I think he was tired of the romance. He spent four years with them. It's looking like he really was ready and done, especially with the, with the death card above here. This is very, very concerning, uh, very concerning. And the fact that he's not willing to keep secrets, too. He's not willing to keep secrets. He even said he was willing to talk about the secrets and write a book and sell any, any story, any story, so that he can feel like he is in control. He wants to be in control. He's at war with the, his family over the, his legacy and over his uh, estate, his $100 million, $105 million estate. Uh, so this is not, this is bad. This is really bad. Wow. I'm going to keep pulling. Let's see what else I get. There it is. What is it? It's more conflicts. It's emotional conflicts. More emotional conflicts. Very, very upset, shocked, dismayed. Look at her. She's shocked, dismayed, you know, wanting to have that family tree, wanting to be rooted, wanting that emotional bond, but it's not happening. Uh, the growth is dying. The, gr the grass is looking dead where they're at. It's not looking too green. Uh, the plants are not thriving. Uh, it's, it's dying. The process is, it's a slow death card is how this appears to me. It's a slow death. Uh, they're not watering their garden. They haven't watered each other's garden. If you don't water and nurture those who love you, that garden's going to die. And that's basically what's happening with this card here. That garden, that garden started to dry up and die. Let's get another one. There we go. I am liking this deck, by the way. I think it is very rich in detail. And then we have here the Hierophant in reverse. The Hierophant in reverse is someone who doesn't know their path, doesn't know where they're going. They're dark. They're, they're, they're basically uh, low vibe, too. It's, it's kind of low vibe. It's very, very low vibe because there's no, lit, there's no light within. Uh, there's no inner light because the hermit upright is illumination from within. Uh, being able to look at yourself and accept yourself and work on yourself. They were not working on themselves. This man was not willing to work on himself from within. He was not lit from within. He was dark. He was dark within. So he was dark inside. Boy, it's looking very, it's looking like he played a hand here, you guys. He played a hand. I'm pretty certain by this point he's played a hand. Oh, God. And we have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is that new beginning. He wanted a new beginning. He had enthusiasm. And it's also the Spirit card. 
someone going to spirit. And we have the death card. That right there could be intention. Mix it with all this here. It's looking like he played a hand. He played a hand. He wanted it to go down this way. He actually wanted it to go down this way. So I got the maybe with the pendulum if he actually did it. So I would say that he was probably extremely careless. I guess it's safe to say he was extremely careless with whatever dosages he may have been giving him if he did give him dosages. So I guess I'm going to pull a few cards and say, did he hand him some sort of final, final blow? Did he hand him the final blow? Did he hand him the final blow to his health? Ooh, Ace of Swords in reverse. That's a bad card. That's willing to be abusive. That's being abusive. So yes, he did. He did. He gave the final blow. He sure as hell did. He gave him that final dosage that caused a cardiac arrest or whatever happened. And we have here the Eight of Pentacles. It was an action to overcome. And it is Pentacles and it is willing to be abusive. And so basically, yeah, he, he produced this. He produced this outcome. It's a producing card. This guy's working at something. Look how hard he's working. He's working. He worked at it. He worked at it. He worked at the final, the final straw, the final abuse, the final abuse of drugs, basically. Under the surface, temperament, temperance. He was, he was real calm, cool, and collected, and balanced energy when he did it. Basically, wearing a social mask, acting like he's working in your best interest, but he wasn't. So I'm claiming, I'm saying, yes, he played a role, he worked at it, he gave the final medication blow, whatever it was that was involved. He overdosed him. I think he overdosed him. So there was that, that is the uh, rumor, and I am going to confirm it. Yes, he did. He did, he did, he did. And he is a dark individual. So let's get some more cards. I will get some under the roses. Here we go. Under the roses. Some on this Fadi Fawaz, Fadi Fawaz, Fadi Fawaz energy. There we go. So we got the cross card. It was in reverse. It was no burden, pain, and suffering. And we've got the letter here. So the letter represents, the letter represents news and notice and messages going out. So the message got out that he passed away. It is burden, pain, and suffering. It's also kind of a death card in some respects. It's going to spirit card. And it was no burden to him. And the information spread far and wide with the letter. Everybody got the message. Yeah. Under the surface, we have here a snake. So basically, he tried to act like he wasn't a snake, but he was. He wore a social mask. Yeah, he was a snake. Snake is someone who works against you. A snake is someone who is completely deceiving you. A snake is someone who many times a snake woman is the other woman in many respects. Uh, the snake also is um, deception, lies, tricks, jealousy, falseness, betrayal, and the other woman. So that was a total betrayal what he did, complete utter betrayal. And that's what he did. He did it. Yes, he did. Wow. Okay. Uh, I love that man. I love George Michael. I was a huge fan of his. Uh, it was in my heyday in, in high school and whatnot. And um, he was one of my favorites, along with Michael Jackson. Back in my day. Yes, back in my day. It's probably back in your day, too. <laughs> we are all usually menopausal here. All the women here are primarily menopausal. So I know you think like me. Uh, he wanted happiness. He was searching for more happiness. That's why he did what he did. He wanted, he wanted happiness. He wasn't happy there. Why else did he do it? Why else did he do it? Yeah, why else did this guy decide to take the dark path? Why did he decide to take the dark path? He wanted different friendship. And he didn't have the courage for a long time. But finally, but this flips. He did work up the courage to do it. So he thought that he could find new friendship, happiness, and he had to work and more courage. 
it took courage to do it. They were friends and they were happy at one time, but I feel that they went into reverse here. And um, so that's why he did it. At one time, this is what they were. At one time, they were happy with and a friendship and they had courage together. But that whole process, uh, by the reading, uh, they lost all that. They lost all that. This all went like this, you know. This all went like this. And so that's why he did it. He wanted to get this back. He wanted to get all this back. That's why he did it. So very selfish move, dark move. Uh, I hope someone investigates him, and I hope they're able to somehow hold him accountable. You know, but in these cases, it's really hard to prove. So probably not likely. Um, let's get some more cards. Let's see, what can I pull? Yeah, let's pull one more question. One more question. One more question. Does George Michael, um, does George Michael visit him? How's that? <laughs> Let's get a little fun here, huh? It's a little fun here. Why keep it so serious? Ah, does George Michael visit him in his sleep? <laughs> I would. I would. I would be <laughs> talking to him. I think I'd be poking and prodding. That'd be horrifying. <laughs> okay, does George Michael visit him in his sleep? Does George Michael visit him in his sleep? And what does he say if he does? What does he say? There we go. We have here the Eight of Pentacles. He worked at it. He's telling him, you worked at that. <laughs> you produced and made that happen. You made that happen. Yeah, you did. You did that. I know what you did. Yep. Okay. Next one he's telling him is princess okay that's queen of wands in reverse so he basically he was his queen uh, <laughs> and he's saying that that was cold mean and angry of you and nasty of you that was very low vibe of you because you lost your confidence uh, you lost your seductive nature and your and your being progressive you're no longer progressive you lost all that you're cold mean and nasty and you're angry you did it out of anger you actually worked at it out of anger. Wow. So let's get the next card. That flip. Here we go. And we have here the Six of Cups. Oh, wow. There it is. Yep. Looking for new love. Wanting to create something new. You want it out of the relationship, and this was your way of doing it. Mm-hmm. I see what you did. You had your eye on someone else, and it wasn't me. Yeah. Wow, that's sad. That is really sad. Under the surface, we have here, you made it happen. The Magi, Magician, you created, you manifested this, you created it, you worked at it, you wanted someone else, you fire started this in the center of the situation. What do I have here? The moon in reverse. The moon in reverse is someone who is not willing to look at their problems and struggles, and he's trying to tell him, you need to release your fears. It's time for you to confess. The moon in reverse is confession time. Time to confess. Please confess. Release your fears and confess what you did. Wow, what a reading. Oh, my God. Woo. Okay, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, like and subscribe. Rest in peace, George Michael. I loved you. Bye.